Hi YouTube! I have another video for you. In this video I want to talk about another DBT skill, which is acting versus reacting. Oftentimes we get so caught up in our emotions that we feel like we, we feel like we can't even think straight. It feels like your decisions are made purely from your emotional mindset. But this doesn't have to be the case. There are actually two other mindsets that you can make decisions from that may have better outcomes. The goal of tapping into these other mindsets is to gain more control over your emotions and your behaviors. In my DBT workbook, which is again called the DBT Skills Workbook for Bipolar Disorder, it talks about three different mindsets. Emotion mind, reasoning mind, and wise mind. Emotion mind and wise mind are opposites, or emotion mind and reasoning mind are opposites. Emotion mind is acting strictly from emotion while ignoring reason. Reasoning mind is acting from reason without taking emotion into regard. Wise mind is a combination of the two. Wise mind is when you make decisions based on how you think and on how you feel about a situation rather than just one or the other. Just as a note, neither emotion mind nor reasoning mind are bad on the, in and of themselves. Emotion mind also encompasses positive emotions like love and joy and excitement, which are okay to act on in some circumstances. And sometimes making certain important decisions requires acting from reason alone, like or without paying much heed to emotion. So the goal is not to get rid of emotion mind or reasoning mind. The goal is to learn how to sort of combine the two into wise mind so that neither emotion nor reason takes over or gets left out. Here are some examples of acting from emotion mind. Drinking or using drugs to avoid feeling negative emotions, feeling manic and call in, calling your friends at 3 in the morning, or yelling at your boss because he give, gives you bad news. Examples of reasoning mind are writing out a grocery list, balancing your checkbook, following directions while driving, or doing math. Other examples, which are bad ones, are pushing away or avoiding your feelings rather than allowing yourself to feel them by telling yourself that they're not logical or rational, or making dis a decision solely based on logic rather than taking into consideration how you feel about the possible outcomes. A real-world example in my own life is when I made the, de the decision to pursue a PhD in philosophy, regardless of how much emotional torment it would cause me in the long run. Thankfully, I turned to my wise mind and changed my mind on that decision by taking my emotions into account. So again, wise mind is the balance between your reason and your emotion that helps you act in ways that agree with your moral values and goals in life. In some cases, acting from wise mind is in your best interest and will make you feel a sense of certainty and balance. Here are some examples of acting from wise mind from my DBT book. Getting out of bed in the morning when you're feeling depressed going to work when you're feeling anxious, which is one that I do all the time, choosing nutritious foods for yourself instead of eating junk food, which is one that I really need to work on, and going for a walk instead of watching another hour of TV and isolating yourself, which is another one I need to work on. Other things that help you act from wise mind are cutting down on caffeine, getting enough sleep, figuring out which kinds of foods affect your mood, like sugar and alcohol exercising, and striving for healthy relationships. To sum up, there are three kinds of mindsets that we can make decisions from. Emotion mind, reasoning mind, and wise mind. Though all three have their place, wise mind is usually the most helpful for acting in ways that are healthy and promote balance and a sense of well-being in your life. We often act from emotion mind and reason mind, reasoning mind without really taking both perspectives into account, and this is reacting versus acting. When we act from wise mind, we're really acting and not just reacting, which is much more healthy. I hope my explanation of these three different kind of mindsets and how to act versus just reacting have been helpful. Please comment below and again, feel free to ask any questions you might have about me or about bipolar disorder in general so I can put together a Q&A video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.